This is the Coco 3 FPGA, which is the prototype for the uh, Coco X. I went ahead and loaded over DriveWire the fun demo, which exercises most of the video modes that are already implemented in the FPGA. So I'll go ahead and run that and we'll go through the demo. This gives the proof of concept of the uh, for the Coco X. I'm running this at the, uh, the nominal Coco 3 speed, 0.89 megahertz, that's a standard speed. You can see the FPGA board there just below the monitor. I've implemented this using VGA, which will be the primary video mode for the Coco X also. I'm using a, uh, a PS2 keyboard, which will be one of two options on the Coco X. <coughs> the Coco X will use both a PS2 or, or a uh, the standard Coco 3 keyboard. There'll be a connector for both of those. This first part of this demo was not very impressive. It just shows you that you can, it can blink the lights at several different speeds and slow down the printing. That's actually fairly simple to do in software. A little bit later, it'll show you some of the hardware capabilities or the hardware uh, registers for the different video modes. We'll switch those pretty quickly. This starts the high resolution part of it right in here. Part of the demo is just printing a few things on the screen and then switching to different video modes. This changes the, the palette registers to different pal to different um, different colors and just kind of cycles through them. This changes the number of uh, of empty lines per line of text, so it makes it look kind of like a yo-yo up and down. <clears throat> yeah, this draws these boxes on this high resolution screen. And it cycles through the different colors in the palette registers, so the, the different boxes change different colors. This part of the demo changes the beginning and ending places on the screen. I guess the first of this starts out by changing the palette registers to display different colors as how keeping them pale and moving but now it's starting to to change the display portion of the screen the position so it makes it look like the screen is moving around when in actuality you're just changing a couple of numbers to tell it where the, the starting part of the screen is all these different modes that the uh, Coco 3's gimme chip have, have been implemented in this FPGA. On this version the, uh, the, F the uh, 6809 is also implemented in the FPGA. The Coco X will have an option to do that because it's much faster. You can run it up to 20-25 megahertz. But there is some issues about the uh, cycle accuracy. So if somebody wants it to be completely cycle accuracy and can handle the slower speed, we're going to make an allowances by putting a uh, socket down there for putting in a real 6809 or 6309 if they want. Okay, this is the demo now has just started over. I'm just going to stop it. So this is the ending of the presentation.
if you like this project and want it to be in a uh, Cocoa 3, now's the time to, to show your support. Thank you.